today you'll learn how you can do keyword research on Bing very quickly and easily using Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. Okay, so doing keyword research on Bing is very simple and very straightforward if you have Keywords Everywhere. So to start, you need to have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed on your browser. Go to Bing and simply do a search. So for today's video, let's search for how to clean shoes. Now, now that I have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed, you'll immediately see the keyword data uh, right next to the suggested search terms right here in this dropdown. Okay, so you'll immediately see the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition, and the trend over the past 12 months. Okay, now I'm going to uh, click enter. And now we are in the main uh, search page. And then you'll see the keyword data for my search term right below. So you'll see the volume, cost per click, competition, and trend data. And you can even favorite this, and it'll be added to your favorites list. And then if you click on to your search bar, you'll see the suggested keywords, and then the related keyword data for the suggested keywords. And one thing to note about this keyword data is that it does come from Google, okay? So this does come from Google, but of course, the keywords do come from Bing. All right. And another thing to note is that this keyword data is country specific. Okay. So right now it's set at uh, the United States, but if you uh, click on the extension and just select any country you wish, and it will show uh, keyword data specific to the country that you have selected, or you can select global as well. All right. Now, as I scroll down, there's two widgets here, okay? The first widget is this button, which is to find Bing keywords for my search term, how to clean shoes for the US. Okay, so if you click on this button, a new tab will pop up and Keywords Everywhere will give me a list of Bing specific keywords uh, for how to clean shoes. Okay, so Keywords Everywhere found close to 400 Bing keywords for my search term in the US. And as you scroll down here, there's tons and tons of related uh, search terms that are similar to my search query. And this data here, um, to unlock this data, you need to have purchased credits from Keywords Everywhere to unlock this data. So for every single keyword, you will see the related uh, search volume, uh, the average cost per click, the competition, trends over the past 12 months, and the trending percentage. So again, this does come from Google, but the keywords come from Bing, okay? And then you can favorite some of these keywords by just clicking on the star, all right? So if you're doing keyword research, writing a blog post around how to clean shoes, you could go through here and just find the relevant ones you may wanna save, just favorite those, and then it'll be saved to your favorites list. You can even add all of these keywords as well, or just uh, add the ones that you've starred. And then if you click on this button and click on the extension, click on my favorite keywords, those keywords that I've starred will appear in my favorite keywords list. Okay, let's go back to this chart here. And then you can also click on this checkbox on the top right, strict exact match. So what does that mean? That basically means it'll only show me the keywords with the term how to clean shoes. So if you click on that, you will see how to clean shoes are the exact match for all of this list of keywords here. So it just gives you a lot more uh, data around uh, this term, how to clean shoes. So a little bit more like phrase match, right? So these have the exact search term, okay? And then same deal, you can look, favorite it, and then look at the specific keyword data here. And then you can even uh, filter by 
these metrics here. So search volume, say for example, I just only wanna look for keywords between search volume 100 and 1000, and then keywords everywhere will filter that. So easy way to slice and dice and only look at the keywords that are important to you. And then you can reset the filters and it will undo everything. And then if you uncheck this, all of the keywords will show up here. And as you see here, a lot of them are a lot more broad terms, right? So good way to see additional related keywords. Now let's go back to Bing. Now let's go to the second widget. So this widget is the related keywords widget. Okay, so these are a list of keywords that are related to your search term. Okay, so if you were writing a blog post around how to clean shoes, this is a really good list of keywords that you should be looking at. Okay, so these are topics that are related to my search term that you can potentially um, make sure you add on the body copy. Okay, so if you're writing a blog article, of course you should add this keyword, how to wash shoes, right? So people are typing in wash versus clean. Maybe you can talk about how to clean the inside of your shoes, how to clean the soles of your shoes, right? Maybe different brands. So this list of related keywords come from Bing, but the keyword data comes from Google. So keep that in mind. And you can copy this, okay, and paste it on a Google spreadsheet or Excel doc, or you can even export this as a CSV if you wish. Okay, and so really great uh, widget, great list to analyze to make sure you're focusing on targeting these keywords in your blog article. Okay, so this is a very, very quick and easy way to do keyword research on Bing using keywords everywhere. So we will see you in the next video. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna learn more about keywords everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thanks and we'll see you next time.